Yo guys, what's good? Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different um, instead of me doing anything because I haven't really done much this weekend it's going to be more of an educational video about some things or one thing in particular that many people aren't prepared for when they move abroad uh, but before we get into that just a quick update um, through, this, uh, through this week just been picking up more things so now we're teaching one elective a week so my elective is Football tips and tricks. So I teach the kids like cool tricks, like around the world, around the moon, elastico, hocus pocus, things like that. And I got a load, a load of people. Obviously, it's the most popular one. Um, so I've got like 17 or 18 kids, all trying to learn cool tricks, which is uh, it's all right. It's fun. It's really fun. But some of them maybe struggle a little bit more. Got one or two lads though that are really quite good. So that's awesome. Apart from that, normal. I've uh, just been out running today in the rain, like 12k. Uh, I've pretty much given up on running, just running here and there now. Doing too much. Yeah, so anyway, onto the actual topic of the video is, what's it like to get paid abroad in Asia, and specifically in Myanmar? So, I got paid the other day, well Friday, for the first time, and it's definitely different to getting paid in England. In England, all you do is you check your bank statement or your online banking, you see, cool, okay, got paid, awesome. Over here, not so simple. So, the first thing that's gonna be super different is that you are gonna receive probably one or two paper bags, and that's it. So, at the moment, we've got one paper bag with some Myanmar chat, and then another paper bag with some USD, some US dollars, can't quite see that. There's some US dollars in there. So, this is what you'll get. And then you'll walk in, you'll count out your money. So imagine sitting there with this. With this, just counting this out. So this is for our housing allowance, and then this is for our salary. So for our housing allowance, um, because I live in the school apartments, they take away the the cost of the apartments and then leave me with the stuff left over. So I only get 200,000 chat. Everybody else or all the experienced teachers, the people who have been here for a while, they get 800,000 like this. 800,000, this is 200,000. They get 800,000. I've actually already changed over three or 400 dollars. So this is this. But yeah, you can see cash is everywhere. So, now the most important part of the day, or of the video, is what it means to get dollars. So you mostly, hopefully, be paid in like $100. As I said, I've already changed some money over, so this isn't all that I've got, but it's still enough to show you what you need to look out for. So these dollars, they need to be perfectly straight, see? No creases, it's hard to see, there's no creases at all. No watermarks, no little ink stains anywhere. They have to be completely perfect. When you go and get them changed, they will literally take them through just like this. They'll see both sides like this. There'll be no fast counting, they'll look and they'll see if everyone is perfect. So all of mine are okay, but if you get one that has a bit, bit of a stain on, or it has a bend in it or anything, send it back. Ask for a new one, always ask for a new one. So yeah, once you've decided to, to once you're happy with all your money, and you've taken it away, and then you'll go to the exchange and exchange whatever you need to exchange, then you're good to go. One good tip though, what I mentioned with the US dollars, is that you don't need all of them to be perfect, because you're not gonna change over 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 US dollars a month. If you are, you are doing me and Mark wrong, because you do not spend that much money. So at the moment, I've only changed over 400 US dollars, which means I need four good notes. I don't need 10, I don't need 20, I don't need 30. You can save those, and for when you go back home, you can then take them home. So you only need four good notes, maybe five, six, depending on how much you're gonna spend. So don't worry too much if there's a couple that are damaged, but if they're all damaged, or they're all a little bit creased, speak to whoever you're working for and get them changed over. Definitely, every time. So now I bet you're thinking, what are you supposed to do with all this cash? Because by the end of the year, you can imagine you probably have 10, 15, 20, 30, whatever, thousand dollars just at home. Um, first thing is to make sure that it's in a safe place. So split it up, spread it round. So put it in those different cases in your house. If you've got friends that you can trust, 
then Cavi Friends takes them. Um, but a couple of top tips are number one, pay for all of your friends and family's trips. If they come over and they need spending money, you give them your US dollars and then they can transfer your money into your British or American bank account. So say my mom and dad come over, I give them $200, they use those $200 and then when they get home, they transfer me $200 worth of sterling into my British bank account. Then I've got $200 less dollars to deal about, to deal about, to deal with, and then it's a good way of saving money because my bank account goes up. Tip number two, is to always ask people that you can trust to take money home with you. So I think the current limit for the UK is £10,000. So if you've got $20,000, $30,000, that's too much money to take over at one point. So if you've got people that are coming over to see you or you know people are going home, ask them to take 5000 6000 with them and then give it to your parents or to your parents. They can just pay it straight into your bank account. And again, that means it's out your house and it's back home. Those are the two main tips that I'd say, or the three if you include saving it and putting it into different locations. But apart from that, this that's the sort of things that you need to be looking out for. That's what you can expect from getting paid in Myanmar. So yeah, that's probably gonna do it for the video. I just wanted to post one video, just A, so that it would give people an idea of um, one new thing that's going on in my life right now. And then B, to maybe help some people out that have no idea, or don't expect this sort of thing. People, when I was coming over, I expected uh, an international wire transfer or something like that, but it will cost you about 70 or 80 dollars every time you do it. So you don't want to be doing that because that's a thousand dollars a year wasted, in my opinion, when you've got this perfect way of doing it. The, uh, all of the ATMs, not the, the, uh, the money exchanges, they all have really fair rates and they all pretty much match the conversion you'd expect. They don't take, well, they take barely anything at all. Because um, they just want the US dollars, they prefer the US dollars as a currency. So they're happy to take it off your hands. So with that, if anyone has any questions, just drop a comment and I'll answer them all. And if you want to follow me on the journey, just hit subscribe. I'm going to Singapore in four weeks, five weeks, which should be awesome. So I'll take everyone over there, of course, as well. Until then, peace out, have fun, bye.